here are a few things that you need to grab viewers attention hello guys and welcome back to my channel today i decided to talk about apple's and samsung's presentation when it comes to their new product and software updates so you know that before you're buying a product you're checking reviews and also how it is presented to you by the company so right now without further direction let's get into the video you know when it comes to the tech market basically when we talk about phones apple and samsung are the biggest rivals of course there are many other companies which are selling phones, tablets, and other products, but somehow they couldn't make it to the level where Samsung and Apple are now. But which company has a better presentation? So, you know, this is a thing which attracts viewer attention into this product, no matter if it's a phone, if it's a tablet, if it's a laptop, if it's a TV, maybe, or whatever it is. First, you need to grab the viewer's attention and then to offer them the product by no matter what price it is. Yes, Apple's products are expensive, but you know what you're paying for. You're not paying for something basic. You pay for a high quality product. The same goes for Samsung because I have checked their prices and they are not far behind, behind Apple. But which company has the better presentation to attract viewers' attention? We're gonna find right now. Here are a few things that you need to grab viewers' attention. Of course, the fight, so-called fight, is who have better product, not who have a better presentation. But you have more sales on your product. You need to present it better to make the people get attracted to you, to fall in love with your product. And if we're talking about subscriptions, like here I'm gonna pop up Apple's channel and here will be Samsung, so you can see massive difference around 10 million subscribers advantage Apple has compared to Samsung, but it's just a YouTube channel, you know, they're only videos, they present you products, they don't make you buy them, you go to a store to buy them. But this is actually the difference why Apple has bigger advantage, because their presentation seem to be better comparing to Samsung. For example, this is people's opinion. If you check the viewers, of course, the more subscribers you have, the more views, your videos will get, but there is something else about their presentations, which Samsung somehow can't manage to do right. It's not about where are you talking, like at what place and stuff like that. It's about the way you present your product or even a software update with the details and interactions that people will understand what you're saying better and will get more interested. Right now we're gonna dive into the latest presentations of Apple and Samsung and we'll see why Apple has some points more than Samsung in their presentations. First, I'm gonna start with Samsung and I'm gonna insert right here a video from their latest presentation. All the videos that I'm gonna show you are from both Apple's and Samsung's YouTube channel. So as you can see, it is held in front of people, which makes me think that they want to show even to the audience who didn't attend the event how big their crowd is, how many people came to support Samsung, which is not a lie, they have a lot of people here, but they barely talk outside like in a non-crowded room to sit somewhere an expert to explain this is the update for this device, this is the update for the other device, these are new devices which we're gonna launch this year and stuff like that. It's just people coming on stage and talking. Of course, this is how the WWDC is held as well, but there is a difference compared to the both streams which were online. So here, of course, another video I'm going to show you. There are people who are just one person sitting and explaining, but somehow the way they're doing seems a little bit poor compared to what Apple is doing somehow they couldn't grab the attention. Of course, I didn't watch both their streams completely, but some of the parts I checked just to do these comparisons, and I still want to give Samsung some points just because they prepared a lot for these presentations, you know, to grab the viewers' attention to present their products, but somehow they couldn't do it that well if we compare them to Apple. But still, I think they're having some 
good intentions you know they're trying to make their best but i still believe that they need to work a little bit more on their presentations if they want to make their not only phones but their devices in general popular and this is one of the reasons because many people were staying online all the time and if you want them to watch your videos your presentations you need to work hard on these not just sit there do a collab take a few videos put them together and make something you need to be unique and to be different from the other companies and i think that samsung needs to work a little bit on this more now let's move on to apple and see how they're handling their presentations so i'm gonna insert a video right here and as you can see everyone has their role in what they're gonna talk about so as you can see they're just of course this is filmed in apple park but they have a room for every single thing which they're gonna present and except for a different person there are no crowd here this is for the viewers online which couldn't attend the event but still want to watch it and get inside into every single detail and the new products which will come from the company so as you saw in this video like the crowd was physically there at this day but on the internet it was the virtual crowd who supported the app brand hated it maybe liked some of the new updates hated some of the others but you see it's not about presenting how big your crowd it is it's about presenting the new features the new updates and also as you can see it's not about the place where you do it that much but about how you present it and what are you talking about so as you can see they have a lot of these new updates every single thing they have showed a demonstration like what it does how the updates will affect what exactly are the changes of course samsung did the same thing basically but somehow it still didn't get on the same level because if you compare the viewers to both of their streams they're apparently like among the difference there is just still more people watching apple not only because they have more subscribers it's just that their presentation are better it's not enough to just go on stage sit and talk about the new updates and stuff like that it's about getting people interested because as every youtube video the first few seconds the first few minutes of a video are what matter and if you can get the viewers attention to the first few minutes they're gonna leave and the percentage of people who watch it till the end will be lower and lower every single minute and this is what we're gonna talk about right now now i will compare the beginning of apple's and samsung's presentation so as i already said the first few seconds the first few minutes are crucial for the audience because this is what will make them stay with you till the end or watch the first two minutes and then leave because they are bored so i'm gonna start with samsung as you can see first of course we have the rights reserved the copyright and visa and then starts their presentation and as you can see they're already giving us hints what this will be about as you can see they already mentioned the flip phone which means the whole presentation or at least big part of it will be about samsung's flip phone it could be z fold it can be z flip it could be maybe other devices as well but mainly they already told us what the whole presentation will be about or the main focus and the element of surprise for the viewer is gone because you already know what to expect and people might say okay i already know what the presentation will be why well, have to stay like one or two hours listening stuff about it i can read it later on internet because the element of surprise is gone so it's not about presentation but when you tell them straight away what you're gonna talk about then the interest is gone and people won't stay for long watching right now i'm gonna play you apple's intro and as you can see first no rights reserved or editing straight away coding this is what mostly people are using their laptops because of course if you're gonna make something like an application an app you need to code on it then the big idea came flew away and he's chasing the idea but as you can see in this video they don't tell us what it will be about you have an idea you want to bring it to life but they don't tell you is it about a phone is it about an update is it about a new product nothing they don't give us the idea which will keep people watching to understand at least the first thing which you're gonna talk about just to keep the interest and i think this is what matters the most like to keep people interesting because the more 
longer, the way longer people watch your video, this speaks better for you that you did a better job in your video. But again, it's a matter of preference if you're a team Samsung or a team Apple. But just speaking of presentations, I have to give the point to Apple because they just know how to keep their viewers for a longer time to stay, even if you don't watch the whole thing, which is maybe two hours. Even if you watch it like for half an hour, this is more than enough for them to know that they have kept your attention for a little longer than their rivals. And this is what matters to them. The last thing that I'm gonna talk about today is what to talk about in this presentation. So the more products you have to show, the more updates you make, the more views will come to you and watch your presentation. It will stay for a longer time because you know, if you mention like one two things like they'll say okay but if your rivals show you like five ten things they say oh look how many new things they have compared to you like what do you have to offer us like two new updates that's all you came up with you couldn't do anything better so yeah samsung showed us the new z fold z flip probably they're gonna make updates to their watch and many other parts but somehow it's not new like the z phones they came a long time ago, so this is basically like the new iPhone 15, which will come, you know, same phone, just a better, like it's not a new product, we already had this before, but Samsung threw the bomb with their Apple Vision Pro, basically there were many speculations about this viral Apple headset, which will come, but nobody knew when, and they finally announced the date, of course it won't come until 2024, but this is what made people interested in many channels to talk about is they have a new product which will be a completely different operating system they have new chips specifically made for it so this was the talk because yes they do have products probably when the iphone comes around september they'll have another event they'll show finally the new ios 17 available because the phone will come with it obviously but somehow the, if you have more things to talk about like different of course people love showing new products not only the updates but a product something new and especially if it's not like an update to another for example if you have an iphone 14 as i said the iphone 15 no brand new product which didn't exist before something that the company hasn't made before so i'm pretty sure that maybe after some time samsung will try to make their vr headset but apple is already ahead because they announced it this year you will come next year for purchase you can buy it you can have it and probably by the time Samsung makes something like this Apple will invent another product you never know but I think that the more things you have to talk about this is how viewers will stay with you and this is also important when you're making a big presentation okay guys that is the end of the video hope you enjoyed it comment down below which team you are team Apple or team Samsung of course I have made videos before Apple versus Samsung, but today I wanted to compare their presentations because this is one of the biggest events people talk about when the time comes. For example, the middle of September, you know, the new iPhones come and people started looking at how they will look like because there's so many speculations, so many leaks. And no matter that there might be rumors about Samsung's product, somehow people don't talk much about them. I don't know why. Like, all my feed which i see from tech channels yes they do cover samsung when it comes to rumors but not that much mostly they're excited about now the new iphone 15 how it will look will it look the same to the 14 what will be the new color options like all these things like it's like the world is surrounded by the apple events just because somehow they manage to do them better and to gain viewers attention even if you're not a fan of the brand you will still like their presentation better compared to samsung because somehow they manage to do things better. I don't know, maybe magic, maybe they just plan things better. But in the presentation battle, I have to say that Apple is winning. And I'm not saying this because I'm a fan of the brand. I just like the way they're doing it. But that is the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big old thumbs up, aka like this video. Share it with friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell to so be notified when I post new videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye!